This is uh, that antique lamp number, antique lamp part two, I'll call it. This is September 1st. I, got, I can't believe I found such a, a beautiful piece of history. It, not that this is beautiful, it's just uh, it, it's just uh, part of an oil lamp made in 1860 or 1868. But, uh, well, these, these, these became these became household only after 1850, of course. They uh, burned kerosene in these, but uh, and they had and they used cotton wick. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is, this still works. It's amazing. All right. Oh, I'm gonna get searching again here. Oh my God! Yeah, I'm gonna get another search again. I just so it's incredible. Just incredible. That is a find. That is a real find. In, uh, in 1868, the war in the U.S., there was a war to... Uh, oh, the U.S. government was fighting indigenous people, and uh, by 1860, 1868, the buffalo were almost gone. The uh, the railroads, the railroads running up the St. Lawrence Valley, meeting the uh, the American railroads, all that was just taking place. And if anyone remembers correctly, the British used the uh, I, I believe the. The narrow gauge rail railroad tracks, and the Americans use the wide railroad tracks. That's why the railroad systems couldn't they did, couldn't match up. They had to literally manhandle, or they had to they had to manhandle or use a. a, a some kind of that uh, lifting systems to remove stock from one train on the U.S. side to the other train on the Canadian side. Yep. And the, I can't forget the War of 1812 in Lundy's Lane either. That lamp was made. Uh, that lamp was made uh, approximately 50 years. It was made in Pennsylvania. 50 years after the War of 1812, or maybe 40, 40 years after the War of 1812. It's a, it has been an adventure this morning. I admit that that, that piece of oil lamp, <clears throat> that piece of oil lamp may not be a fantastic carved figurine in, in, in rock crystal, but it's still fantastic to have held that in, and, and to think about all the history that took place. I can just feel the uh, history facts running around in my head. Why, heck, I might even write a book about that lamp. Why not? Hey, <laughs> one never knows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my... Uh, uh, in my, uh, I, I generally keep a notebook in with the book notes for the book I'm working on at the time. And then I just, one little section for book ideas. And this is my first book idea. Write a historical novel. Yeah.
and I will use that lamp, that oil lamp piece. That's going to be one interesting book to write because I'm going to have to immerse myself into 1860 or 1868 uh, information, literature, and facts, and I'm, I will have to create a character. Uh, no doubt it's going to be Aboriginal, <laughs> Indigenous. I will see you online. I am going to continue my search here. If I find anything important, I will film it because there is no fossil or there is no fossil or artifact I find that is that is not going on film. It's all going on film. This history is going to be saved so that even 30 years from now, while I'm dead in the ground, someone else is going to be looking at this and they're going to learn. They're going to learn from the past how to move forward into the future.